What is going on ladies and gentlemen? So this is going to be a video for the people who actively watch my channel, not just for you guys who happened upon it, right? But if you did just happen upon the channel, we do do a lot of MMO content. Ash of Creations coming out, Thrones of Liberty. So if you're excited to see any of those games covered, this is definitely gonna be the channel come 2024. But uh, for you guys who have been a part of the channel for a long time, I'm doing a lot of restructuring come the beginning of the year. I want to take this channel um, pretty seriously. Um, I know here the past year I've just kind of hit and miss. Some weeks I will have good days. Some weeks I, you know, sometimes I won't upload for a month. And you know, I kind of leave you guys hanging. And I feel bad about that. So there are some points I want to address. The big one being I'm pruning the Discord. There are too many man children just degenerate near-do-wells who want nothing more than to just promote toxicity and belittle everyone so if i for whatever reason remove you from the discord do not take it personal please ask me in the streams ask me on in the comments to invite you back to the discord i'm wanting to keep the discord very exclusive the reason i am wanting to do this is because I want it to be a wealth of knowledge, a resource of information for when these new MMOs come out, especially Ashes of Creation. If you guys have not seen this MMO, I believe the next alpha, the, the, the second alpha test will be coming out um, the beginning of 2024. Please go check it out. It is a phenomenal MMO by Intrepid Studios. It encompasses literally everything ESO has to offer and much, much more. It is an incredible game to look at aesthetically, combat wise. It the the dev team seems to be on point. They they listen to nothing but feedback. Just kind of give you guys an example, right? So you have to um, in one of their streams, you have to farm some resources for food or whatever. They're, they're cooking or whatever. Well, you have to go kill these pigs, right? They have it to where you can kill the big pigs, but there are little piggies you can kill, which yield lower resources. And you actually like slit the, the little piggy's throat and, and they squeal and it's it, and it's terrifying and surreal and shrill. And I was just blown away by the amount of realism and detail that has went into this game. So. Um, back to what I mean about the Discord. I want to keep it very small. I want us to get ahead of the curve. Okay? If you're in the Discord and you're an active community in it, any information that I have, I want to share with you guys and vice versa. I want us to just be an echo chamber of just positivity and just getting ahead of these games when they come out. Okay? That's my purpose for keeping the Discord so small. I don't want to deal with the drama, right? I have like a zero tolerance policy for any, any sort of racism or bigotry or, or some of the recent trolls here as of late. I, we're adults, guys. Please act, you know, act your age, not your IQ. Okay, that's the, that's all I'm gonna say about the Discord. Now, um, if that sounds awesome, please, please sub to the channel, notifications. We're gonna be covering a lot of content with that. So, secondly, I do have another YouTube channel. It is Horcrux FPS. So here on the main channel, will be MMO content, shorts, you know, whatever MMO, Ashley Creation, Thrones of Liberty, um, maybe some Diablo, you know, anything MMO or, or, or RPG related uh, will be here on this channel. Secondary channel, however, is for let's play stuff, variety gameplay, so, you know, mostly FPSs, first person shooters, you know, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex, um, Halo Infinite. Those are always my go-to. These are the games I always play off stream. And I found myself here as of late having a lot more fun playing those types of games than I actually have streaming ESO. It's not that ESO is a terrible game. It's that I've played it for almost a decade and uh, I'm just tired of it. Okay. So that will be what the second channel is for. All right. Thirdly, when it comes to the Patreon tiers and YouTube tiers, I am completely getting way getting rid of the Patreon. If you have any subscriptions over there, please go and cancel them. And if you want to renew them in a equivalent YouTube membership, I will have all of those tiers out for you guys. Of course, you have just the basic, you have your mid tiers and then the high tier YouTube memberships are going to come with build critiquing, coaching. You can meet with me you know, once a month. We'll set a time slot. I can help you out with your builds and it is going to be a lot of 
I'm just just picking my brain and you know for example there, there, there's been a few new players who have actually reached out to me in discord and they are struggling with sustain you know for example um my my, my last uh, dk build not this one but the, the one previous i posted like like five months ago like hey you know we're, we're having issues with with sustain you know can you help me out run your exact build and you make it look so easy so i'm like yeah, yeah you know, let me take a look at it because it's always like a case by case thing right you can't just be like you know what one fix fixes all you have to look at someone's gameplay you have to break it down. You have to see what their skill priority is. You, ha you, you have to see what their target priority is. You, ha you have to see like how many global cooldowns are wasting. There's a lot that goes into it, okay? And that's what I cover in the coaching. You know, for example, this dude was using coagulating blood, okay, which is like a 4K magic cost ability when he has when he's at 85% health. And then he stresses that he has sustain issues. Well, that's that's why you have sustain issues because you're using coag, which is a very expensive spell at, at such a high health threshold. Yes, it seems simple once I point that out to you guys, but if you're not known to look for that kind of stuff, if you're not taught to like, like, like to be able to read between the lines and really gauge all of these minor complexities that, that go into ESO, they, they all add up and, and they do cascade rather rapidly and it does affect your build in your gameplay that's why you see sometimes on stream i make everything look super easy you want to know why it's because i have trial and error like hundreds thousands of times in order to get my combos right my rotations right i know who to target like if i see someone 25k health i'm targeting them most people don't even tab target all right so that's what the youtube memberships are about is to take your gameplay with well, the higher tier youtube membership is to take your gameplay and break it down as best I can just to help you improve, to expedite that learning process. All right, that's what I want the YouTube tier memberships to be. And if you just want to flex because you like Daddy Crux, well, I'll have some tiers for you, okay? <laughs> um, going forward, um, I will be doing community nights. Um, I'm going to try to keep it to once a week to where members of the Discord and of course the YouTube members are going to get priority, you know, when we go out and group in Battle Rounds and Serial, you know, whatever. Um, so. That is going to be something I'm going to do going forward. And a couple other things just off the top of my head. Every single time I upload a VOD to YouTube, for whatever reason, one little tidbit of a song will flag the entire VOD and it gets demonetized. And it's just annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to do going forward is just putting those VODs. I'm going to make those available on YouTube to members of the YouTube memberships, you know, our, our, our crux crew or whatever you want to call it. I still don't have a name for it. So if you guys have a name for what you want your YouTube memberships to be, uh, let me know down in the comments, you know, if you made it to this portion of the video. Um, however, when I do stream on Twitch, typically I dual stream on both YouTube and Twitch. Those VODs will be available on Twitch. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna be there forever, but it's at least a good reference so you guys can like go back, watch my gameplay. So if you have like any questions, you can kind of uh, reference back to that. And as unpopular as it is, I do want to be doing PvP top five, not just for the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm sure when Ashes of Creation drop, it's going to have a very scenic PvP scene as well. From what I've heard, it's going to be a pretty vast and plentiful, okay? So I want to get in the habit, get in the routine of you guys submitting clips to me. Again, I know I've done this in the past and a lot of work actually does go into making these PVP top fives and shout casting them. So I'm going to reopen those forms, allow you guys to submit your clips to me here. And hopefully I have a plethora of clips to sift through once the new year comes around. It, you can submit me kind of whatever you want. If you have a unique build that you want mentioned here on the channel, I also have a form for that. I may just include all in one form and you just specify, hey, this is a PVP top five clip. Hey, this is a build uh, that you want featured here on the channel and submit gameplay and you know and stuff like that um, i'll have everything laid out uh, in the form it, it, it's just a google docs it, it, it's it's nothing difficult i'll have a link down in the description once i do start doing that sort of stuff also going forward the content that i want to have here on the channel we're, we're doing away with all the eso drama um I, I i'm so sick of this studio i'm so sick of bethesda zenimax that i'm not even going to cover their petty squabbles unless it is like a huge controversial issue i'm going to keep my nose out of it because because quite frank it, it doesn't really offer anything of value to the community it's just echo chambers of people bashing zoss and it, it doesn't really do anything productive um maybe it does help teach people or at least warn people of all of their predatory marketing practices that they have especially for new players but i i think we've hit the nail on the head uh, pretty hard with that so i'm gonna back off all the drama 
and the content going forward is going to be builds gameplay i'm going to try and shoutcast my own 1vx's as well as your guys in pvp top five uh, sort of things and try to mentor and teach you guys um at least while you had me here on esl right when ashes of creation comes out i'm, I'm going balls to walls and ashes of creation so pick my brain while you got it okay um I'm, I'm going to try to show off whatever tribunal knowledge that i have and just to help you guys out if you want to get good at pvp that's what um, I want this channel to be for ESO. And again, when other MMOs come out, we'll be covering those games as well and pretty much be doing the exact same thing, okay? And before I peace out, I do want to take a few moments to just thank my community. I would not be here without you guys. I, I just simply would not. It is still a small channel, but I can definitively say that I have one of the best YouTube communities that has ever existed in all of YouTube, okay? You guys are nothing but supportive. Yeah, for the most part. You get you got a few toxic trolls there, but you know, you, you get a few bad apples in the bunch. It's okay. You guys have got me through the hard times, and I hope that the content I produce going forward is up to your all's expectations. I'm going to try to improve going forward each and every single day. And if you catch me slacking, bet you Horcrux, you're slacking, you need to step up your game, and I will happily do so. Okay. But again, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for being with me on this journey. And hopefully I see you guys in the years to come, okay? You guys have a happy 2023. Have a happy New Year's. Uh, this has been Horcrux. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.